One of the most common questions I receive about the Mercedes is how did I mount the 606 and the 123 chassis? A lot of people want to know how I constructed the arms to suspend the engine. Well, today I'm going through a similar process mounting this OM617 into this BMW. So I'd like to take the opportunity to show you guys how I'm going to build these mounts and hopefully it'll help you with your projects. Now this uh, mount will be done a little bit differently than the Mercedes. I have a lot of roll cage tubing left over, so I'm going to utilize that. Very thick wall DOM tubing. It's one and three quarter inches. It's a little bit overkill for this, but it will still be a very strong mount. The Mercedes I use one by three rectangular tubing, and I didn't have a bender for that, so I had to cut it with a grinder and I welded it up at each, each joint. Similar process, uh, different materials though. So the first step is going to be getting the engine exactly where I need it to be. That means clocking it. Right now you'll see it's, it's actually angled a little bit. And then of course I need to center it between the frame rails. Now this is really a triangular type system, right? So there's a suspension point in the back of the transmission that'll control the angle this way. And then there's the two motor mounts in the front. So once I get these two built, then I can worry about the angle uh, based on how I build the transmission mount. So let's go ahead and get this engine positioned and get started building our mounts. Okay, so let's take a look and see uh, what I did here, and I'll show you the obstacles I ran into. So if we look down here, we're roughly 28 and a quarter uh, between frame rails. And if we scroll over here to the engine, you'll see 14 and an eighth is roughly where that, the center of that pulley sits. That black mark is not the center of the pulley. Uh, it's a little bit to the left of that. So I feel pretty comfortable that we are dead on or close enough on that. If we come up here now at the angle, We'll see that we're on zero. Now let me try and show you uh, the obstacles with this chassis that I've run into. And it's going to be a little bit difficult. So let me come down and see if we can see something from this side. But there is not a lot of play between that cross member and that pan, but it is not touching. It's just uh, hard to get in here to show you that. So there is a little bit uh, of, of room there. You can see the light coming through. Okay, now let me show you the other issue with the Mercedes diesel 4x4 adapter. So if you come down here under the car, you can see that transmission adapter bolt that goes through the housing. Actually wants to hit the sway bar. Now I think that's pretty easily remedied. So when I take this engine out to paint the engine bay, I'm actually gonna have the bolt head face the sway bar, not the nut in the threaded part. So that's an easy fix to get me some clearance there, but it's still pretty close. Okay, so now I need to go ahead and make the mounts that will sit on top of the perches.
We have the completed base for our E34 mounts. You can see I had to cut a window in the side so that we can get a socket on here. Uh, we start it with our, our fingers and then uh, of course the socket will fit over it just fine once it gets down there a little bit. Let's take a look at this other one over here. Now the E34 mount actually has a couple nubs that sit um, that, that help position the rotation of this mount. So for now, I just went ahead and drilled them out. Um, I did not want to weld or put anything in there. Um, when I fabricate the arms, I'm probably going to put a screwdriver or maybe thread it and put some bolts in there to, to hold it um, positioned where I need to. But once they're welded in place, these aren't going to rotate, so it's not going to be a problem. Uh, it's just for that initial placement. So this is what the uh, the end result looks like for the bases. So in the next episode, we'll go ahead and start bending up and fabricating the arms themselves.